What's up, family? Hey, I want to talk to you guys about a couple of things today. We want to walk down memory lane and just talk about a rebel for a cause. A rebel for a cause. I was talking to my sister, Kathy, about a couple weeks ago. And she always has a habit of reminding me uh, how troubled I was as a kid. <laughs> She has a habit of constantly bringing up how I always got her in trouble. And I did. I did. That was my road dog. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I stayed in trouble. I stayed in trouble. And I, and I didn't realize at the time that I had authority issues. I had authority issues. I hated being told what to do. Hated being told what to do. I hated somebody trying to just usurp authority over me and just dictate policy to me. Yeah, that wasn't happening for me. <laughs> that wasn't happening for me at all. At all. <laughs> I was going to do what I want to do when I want to do it, how I want to do it. You could beat me, put me on restriction. Put me on punishment for the whole year. I didn't care. I was still going to do what I wanted to do. And I didn't care who liked it and who had what to say about it. I wasn't trying to be offensive. I wasn't trying to be rude or disrespectful. But I was going to do it my way. I was going to do what I wanted to do. One day I was like maybe in sixth grade. And, um. We was in the YMCA and we was in a bus and um, we was getting ready to go somewhere. And so it was, the bus was full of kids, you know, my peers, my little homies, you know. Uh, and the bus driver, Lorraine, I never liked that lady. I don't know why I never liked her. We just never connected, you know. I just saw how she got down. She was always foul to me. I just thought she was foul and stank. And, um. Just because of the way she treated other people. And she never did me like that. She never treated me that way. And so I never said nothing to her. You know, I just saw how she got at so many other people. I was like, oh, she thinks she's a bully. She thinks she's running something, you know. She's a grown lady. But I didn't see her as no grown lady. <laughs> and so one day we're on the bus and she told me to take the gum on my mouth. <clears throat> She must have ate her Wheaties that day because she was feeling herself. <laughs> I just shook my head and said no. And she got loud. The whole bus is silent now. Because I was at the oldest group, you know. I was in the oldest crew, my age group. And so everybody else is looking at it, looking at me like, oh, snap, what is he going to do? What is he going to say? You know, because everybody knew that I didn't like authority. You couldn't tell me nothing. You know what I mean? And it's like, oh, snap, Lorraine's challenging him. You know, what is he going to do? And I just continued talking, laughing, you know, like just completely ignored her. Because I wasn't trying to have this conversation with this lady. I, I wasn't trying to go there with her. <laughs> she got louder. I said, take that gum out your mouth. I started laughing at her. And I, I said, no. If you want it out, come take it out. And I stuck up my tongue with my gum on it. The bus erupted. Everybody Busted up laughing. Everybody just dying, right? <laughs> yeah, I got in trouble for that. <laughs> I got in trouble for that. She didn't come take the bus gum on my mouth. She never said anything else to me after that. Ever. But I had to go sit in the office. <laughs> I had to go see the office. I can't remember where we were going, what we are getting ready to do, but I couldn't go that day. I was on restriction. <laughs> but 
she never challenged me again. A little later, I was my uncle. Um, he had to be about six three, six four. Country man, big country dude. And um, man, he had to be pushing every bit of 250, 275. And he thought he was going to discipline me one day. He thought. And so he grabbed me and man, he started whipping me. And I wasn't saying nothing and I didn't raise my hand to him or, you know, I didn't do anything. I don't even know what I did to get in trouble. I'd stayed in trouble. I was always in trouble. You know, and I know it's probably something I said. He probably told me to do something I thought was stupid. And he's like, no, I'm not doing that. My mouth always got me in trouble. But it was always for a reason. It was always for a reason. You're not going to just tell me to do stupid stuff. <laughs> a rebel for my cause. So he start whipping me, right? With his belt. And I'm just standing there just looking at him. And then my sister Kat came down the hallway because she heard the commotion. Why did this girl show up? She was like, because oh. my Uncle Ben never whipped anybody. And Kat just was like, no. And I saw her. That's my little road dog. That's my homie. <laughs> I'm not letting her see that this dude hurt me. I start busting up laughing. <laughs> I started busting up laughing. And when I started laughing, she started laughing. <laughs> that made him so mad. He just stopped and just walked off, right? <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I didn't realize that um, I had such an authority issue till I got in the military. Until I got in the military. Stay with me. I'm going somewhere. Rebel with all the cause. I mean, excuse me. A rebel for my cause. One day we were in church. I grew up in church. And we were in church. And they were talking and just typical church, right? Typical black church and just yeah 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 just nonstop just da, 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 da. and I don't even remember what they were talking about but for some reason I wasn't feeling it this day I'm not feeling it I'm not feeling y'all I'm not trying to hear this mess today I'm done I'm checking out <laughs> you know what I mean I'm checking out I'm out I got up and walked out. <laughs> Y'all know that if y'all grew up in black church, you could just get up and walk out. I got up and walked out. I was gone. I, they sent my sisters out. They sent all kind of people out looking for me. I was gone. Missing in action. Like, man, I'm not listening to this crap today. I'm not dealing with y'all and y'all madness today. I'm done. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not. I'm not. I don't even know what I was doing. I was just looking in the sky, just looking at the planes fly by. <laughs> you know, he just. But I was sitting. I'm not trying to deal with these people today. I got my own issues. And I'm not letting y'all issues become my issues. A rebel for my cause. I eventually came back in church. I know I got in trouble. I don't remember what it was, but. I stayed in trouble, so it was no big deal to me. I was always in trouble, you know what I mean? You gonna put me on restriction for a year again? You gonna beat me again? <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't care. I'm still gonna do what I wanna do. But I didn't realize how bad my authority issue was until I got in the military.
when I went in the military, I was thinking, man, this is 88. This was the beginning of the East Coast, West Coast rivalry in the hip hop industry, right? And so I'm thinking, man, when you get in the military, you know, it's not that many black people, man. We're going to be united and, man, we're going to do this and we'll do what do over, right? I was in the Air Force, Black Oak Air Force Base. We came in and um, I just got off the bus. And man, I had my braids going back, had my little beads on the bottom, my red, black, and green beads, you know, because I'm representing, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, <laughs> a rebel for my cause. And it's nighttime. Comes up to me. I didn't realize he was the commander of the squadron I was in. I'm tired. I'm ready to go to sleep, man. I'm not trying to hear all this noise. I'm not trying to hear this drama and this BS. You can't put your hands on me, and I already know the game. You know what I mean? You can do your, your yelling and whoop de whoop de whoop. I'm letting you know you're not breaking me down because I know that's the that's the um, mo of the military. We're gonna break you down and. We're gonna squash you and then we're gonna build you back up. A rebel for my cause. You're not built, you're not tearing me down. No way, shape, or form. It ain't happening. <laughs> this dude was all in my face. Yeah, 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 yelling, right? And I'm just and everybody else is like shaking and trembling and dur, dur, you know, man, I'm <laughs> you know, I'm not I'm not phased, I'm not moved, you know what I mean? Just like I'm not impressed. And so he yelled out to me, where are you from? Cali. Cali, what the, da, da, da. he dug into me, right? And so I get the smirk, right? And it's like, this fool right here, that's what I'm thinking, right? This Uncle Tom sellout coon, you know, Wutu. I'm thinking all these things in my mind. Man, this brother's confused. I didn't realize who he was. I still didn't care. I wasn't impressed. Rebel for my cause. Next day, they made me go to his office. So I show up at his office. He's the commander for my squadron. He made me come in, sit down. Start yelling at me again. What? Da, 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 da. I'm not impressed. I'm not shaking. I'm not moved. He looks at me and gets done. He tells me, you're a strong person. You have a lot of grit to you. You're not moved. You're not impressed. But here in the military, that'll get you in trouble. In life, that'll take you far. But here in the military, that's going to get you in trouble. A rebel for my cause. Family. We have to know who we are. We have to have some fortitude about what we believe in, about what we stand for. Especially in today's day and age. Because people are just spewing all kind of dogma, all kind of BS. And if you're not careful, if you're not solid in what you believe in, solid in what you stand for, then you'll fall for the okie doke every single time. You'll fall for the okie doke. Whether it's from religion, whether it's from politics, whatever, you're going to fall for the okie doke. Whether somebody trying to hustle you, somebody trying to run game on you, whatever, you're going to fall for the okie doke. You have to know who you are. You have to know what you stand for. And you have to stand on that no matter what. No matter what. You have to stand on your principles. Come hell or high water. I love you guys.